Okay, this is truck 2323. I'm going to do a little bit more of my tips and tricks. Uh, you know me, I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. Um, right now, what I'm going to do is you see, I did this uh, before, just a little bit of extra security on my back door. What happened was last time, well last time, but the one time they broke into my house, they kicked the other back door, not this one, and it cracked in half. And what I was so mad about when they robbed me is these locks don't have a key on them. So what they did is, all they did was open the door and walk right out the back door with everything that I owned. So I got screens, indoor cages under the windows, uh, ADT security system also. But my whole thing is when I put a lock on these doors right here, they sell these little uh, hooks right here that you could put on there. Use three and a half inch screws. And so what happens is you put your two by four on there and they can't kick your door in. And they really do work really good in their security. But my whole problem wasn't with that. My problem was going like this, opening the door and walking right back out the door. So I came up with this little thing right here. You see right here, I put a little, I welded a little piece in there also where it can't be lifted at all. So this way on the back door, you can't walk, you can't just walk out the back door. There's something that has to be, you have, you're going to spend time right here trying to get out the back door. But what I don't like is this right here is in, and actually when I'm walking out the back door, I scrape myself on this. So what I'm going to do is I bought another one. I wasn't going to spend the five bucks because, you know, I'm a, I'm, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm a miser, but I was actually going to cut this piece off right here. And reuse it but I says you know what let me just go ahead and buy another piece so what I did is I bought another piece that I'm gonna screw in right there and what I bought is a Havison lock and with the Havison lock I'm gonna weld it on there so then this way it's in here it's on the inside of here I can still put the lock on on this side but it's on the other side now so I don't have to worry about getting scratched so I'm gonna go ahead. I bought a, a har I, I bought. I had a Harbor Freight welder for a while there. I did buy it from Harbor Freight, but I'm gonna show you on welding it and everything else. I probably won't get this cut off today. This piece right here, this will still be on it, but this ain't gonna affect it. So what I'm gonna do right now is measure this right here and weld this on it right here with my Harbor Freight welder and show you how I did it. All right, bye. Okay, what I'm doing now is measuring exactly where I'm gonna have to. Cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lock on the inside. I'm going to weld this on the inside of the new one. So when I weld it on the inside of the new one, it's going to be welded all the way in here. So I know it's going to be welded right there. So that means my lock is going to go right in here. And my lock is going to go right in here. So I got to line off, mark off exactly where I have to weld this lock about right here. There is, oh, I just want, my wife's gonna kill me if she sees that. All right, there is some uh, play that I have because on the other side there is a lot of play. So as long as this is welded in here where it needs to be kinda, there's a little play on this. I can slide this back and forth. As long as it's securely in there, the lock is in the lock right on this side. Just to show you that actually, you could actually, I welded one on here and I screwed a Habison lock into a piece of wood and I welded the other end also where the board can't just be lifted out. This is actually a, another door in the house, but it was the same thing. I was like, you know what? If they're gonna get in, they're gonna have a fight to get out. So I just wanna show you that you could do it on a piece of wood also. It's easier to screw it in and then I welded it. I welded the Habison lock on this one right here. But my whole thing is, you know what? If they're gonna get in, they're gonna get a hassle to get out. And people don't think about that. Okay, here we are again. Jack of all trades, master of none. We made the lines that we need to weld the lock for the Habison. We made the lines right here, so I know this gotta be right here. It gotta be welded together right here. So actually, I brought my clamp so I can clamp it together. But there's paint on here, so you cannot weld on the paint. So if this is going right here, I'm going to actually have to free, get this freed up of paint. So I use my all-purpose tool. I call this my all-purpose tool. It's just my little angle grinder. 
You pick one up for these for nine dollars. They have metal tips, brick tips. You need to cut through brick. They have everything. It's unsafe. I took the tip off, but it's it's easier for me when I was cutting some brick. But I got the marks I need right here, and I know I'm gonna need to weld on the inside. And there's too much paint, so I gotta use. Make sure you wear your safety glasses because that's metal that's being thrown at you. So I got the paint off right here, so let me get it ready to weld. Okay, I got it on. You gotta have the grounding on there right there to ground it. It's grounded right there, so this should be able to tack it right on place. Okay, I got my welding mask on. It tacked it really good right there. I'm going to tack it one time at the bottom and then I'm going to clamp this down right here because I couldn't get it to set evenly. I have the auto darkening welding mask. It's really good. I think it was worth the 40 bucks. So that's tacked down, that's tacked down. Let me move this clamp right here and then I'm going to tack this side down right here. Okay, I moved the clamp to this side right here and I'm going to tack this side down over here. Okay, I'm going to move it to minimum because it's a little bit too strong at maximum. So I move it to minimum. Okay, I'm not a professional welder, but you know what? That's held in really good there. If I wanted to grind it down with the angle grinder, I could ground it on some more, but it's it's in place. So I'm going to go ahead and start the, uh, the clasp on the other side right now. Okay, this right here, these are aces in the hole to have. These are aces in the hole to have. You could go actually pick these up at a Harbor Freight Tools or whatever. I got it clamped down really good. I'm going to start welding this on right here so it can hold this to here and this is going to be the clamp to lock it on. No. What did I forget? I forgot to put the negative. In order for it to get the charge on there, you need the negative on there. Alright. one side let me get the other side in here and try to get a better angle there
other side and try to get some in here. People might say I'm crazy, but my thing is, is, is I know it's not proper technique, but uh, I'm just looking for security for my family. So uh, if you want to look at welding techniques, feel free to go look at welding techniques. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, here we are with the new one all buttoned up. One of the things that I would recommend is when you put your screws in, it costs you a little bit extra, but go ahead and buy the ones with the squares or the stars, not just regular Phillips. Some professional uh, crooks come in and they have Phillips uh, pre-drills already. So use the squares or the st uh, stars to make it a little bit uh, harder. Okay, this is well down here real good. So this ain't moving. This right here is a little plate just in that. Now this is welded onto the bar and you got the lock right here. So it can move around a bit, but it's, it's just the extra bit of protection, the extra bit of hassle. That, you know what? This solid piece of bar is not going to get kicked in. You use three and a half inch screws all the way through there. So they're halfway through the door frame anyways. So it's, it's more than just a one inch on this. And then uh, one, one thing that I like is, you know, I trust Brinks. So I got a bunch of Brinks locks and these are resettable ones. So your combination is the same for all your locks in the house and only you or only your family knows the combination. And this is really secure, really sturdy as heck. Uh, remember I had the piece sticking out of here and that was in the way. I just wanted to flip it to the other side. The welder, if you want, you could clean this up and button this up and everything. I just wanted to finish the video right now. But the thing is, it's a $100 welder. That's it, $100. If you want the spools, or $10 each. It's worth it. If you want to learn welding tricks, you want to be a professional welder, that's on you. My thing is, is I weld good enough to know what I need to do. Thank you very much. Hopefully, it gives you a little bit of tips and tricks on stuff that you could use. Thank you very much for watching. Please like if it helped you out.